All right, so back here in the booth for um, NAM show day th three, seven. I've been here a while. This is the last day of NAM, um, which is kind of bittersweet. I'm excited to get home to my family, but it's also hard to leave like all these cool people. Speaking of cool people, Al Bettis is here. Um, Al filmed some stuff in the artist suite this morning, um, which is really exciting. I'm stoked about that. Yes. Um, I, I'm guessing that went really, really well. I think it went, I think it went pretty well. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Nam yeah. has been good? Nam has been great. This has been, uh, this is my third chance of coming to Nam, and I had one of the best times between checking out the, uh, the new guitars, checking out the artists. There were crazy artists here this time, and I mean, the talent level was ridiculous. I'm leaving Nam totally inspired, ready to go home, make more music, write, uh, just do everything. Everything music. I'm, I'm excited. It looks so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Al Bettis, everybody, please go check him out online. He's like one of my favorite songwriters and the coolest guy in the world. Okay, so Jay and I are going back over to the suite to catch James D.W. And then, then I'm going back to the show to just kind of explore booths and stuff and go see some cool new products uh, from a few friends. I'm gonna show you both versions of it and just kind of naturally react, react to it. You've never played it so, before. And then we have one of the uh, grand concerts that you play. It doesn't have a cover, oh, yeah. but a uh, grand concert that you play with the B class bracing. Nice. All right. Very cool. So, so the, the Grand Pacific is this is new one yeah. specifically that you brought to, oh, yeah. to Nam. Yeah. Very, very cool. It's uh, going on. Sure, I hear yeah, Everybody needs to play excited. it. And it's so, it's a thrill to, it's a so. totally different Taylor sound. Yeah. And Andy okay. is, we're in a good spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great at being able to make these guitars for mm. players. Yeah. Because he's yeah. at first, he's a, he's a musician. So, because he's not a builder cool. first. Yeah, he's I hear you. He's a musician you. I hear you. and a father. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's really, really great. So, how many different, um, Models have you got? Grand Pacific, there's three. Three. But there's, there's two builders editions. So. Right, I saw uh, on your. Um... Hey, look who I found. Remember Boosty? Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Good to see you. Yeah, good to How see are you? Too. Very well. Hey, guys. James. Nice to meet you. Hello, Colin. Hello, Colin. Meet you, James. Mm. All right. What a little setup you got in here. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. right. Okay, so quick update. Colin and I, you remember, you remember Colin from yesterday's vlog. What a good sport. We're gonna go over and see like Sure and Audio Technica and some other cool companies quick. Obsessive compulsive, this is really upsetting right now. the Audio Technica booth um, with Gary Boss from Audio Technica. They've been using um, one of our new Grand Pacific guitars as a demo guitar for their ATM 350, so I wanted him to just kind of 
um, walk us through how they're how they're using that. Hey, thanks. So um, essentially, just a little ba bit of background. The ATM 350 is our kind of miniature condenser modular system. So we have clip-on options for horns. We have piano options. We have drum options. Pretty much. Once you get a very high fidelity, awesome microphone, you can use it in all kinds of different applications and you're really only limited by how you're gonna mount that thing. So here at the show, one of the new mounts we came up with is the ATM350GL. And I'll show you to you here. Essentially, it's a screw configuration that clamps right on the edge of the guitar to minimize any damping of the guitar. Uses silicone pads, which we wouldn't want to damage the uh, finish on this beautiful guitar. And then we have a long, rigid gooseneck. And when I say that, I mean it'll really hold its position. So again, the audio engineer and the guitarist themselves is going to determine what the best sound for their guitar is going to be. Typically, a lot of people, when they mic with a microphone, they want to pick up a lot of the neck as well as the body of the guitar. With this, you have the length where you can position it where you want. Say I'm in a praise band, say I'm in a coffee shop, but I'm a mover arounder guy. I have consistent positioning rather than on a stand. So it gives me the, the sound wherever I am on stage. This can be wired or wireless. And that's the ATM 350 GL. It's our cool new mount here at Winter Nam 2019. Awesome, thank you. No problem. So for those of you who are not crazy about pickups in your guitars and really like using a traditional mic sound on the guitar, that's a really good option for live performance. You don't, you know, sound guys always worry, like uh, like Gary said, about people moving away from the microphone, that microphone moves with you. So that might be a really cool option for some of you. Okay, so we're, we're here in the Shure booth um, and Laura from Shure is going to uh, give us a tour of the new the new MV88 Plus video kit. All right, so you have the MV88. The MV88 Plus gives you all the same great sounds, but we've added some really great features, like audio monitoring in real time. So as you're going live, you can check that audio, make sure everything's in line. And also, it's RF immune. So when you go live streaming, no more putting it in airplane mode. You just plug it on and you're ready to rock. Using our video app, we've added a cool feature in the video and audio app as well, where you can control your mic to playback ratio, which is really great for doing some multi-tracks if you want to listen back real quickly, do another track and blend your mic to playback. Super cool feature. And of course, being able to control your gain within the video app is a nice handy feature for when things get a little bit out of control, you can just tap it and your exposure level, frames per second, resolution of the video, all within the app. Um, but this, what also is cool about the MV88 Plus specifically is that it comes with this entire kit. So now I can use this Manfrotto Pixie tripod, use it as a handheld, flip this around, do some selfie work, videographer work, field recording, desktop recording, so it's very, very versatile. And it comes with this cool bag to wrap it all up, keep it all together. Work Works with iOS and select Android devices as well now. So my Galaxy S9 Plus, I can take it out. I don't have to worry about it. It's ready to rock. That's awesome. Yeah. Not a dead guitar and what I mean by not dead guitar is I feel the vibrations and the resonances through the strings and through the neck which some guitars you don't actually feel anything on the back of the neck and 
It's a personal preference thing. I enjoy that. <laughs> This sounds like I'm a studio guy and I come from a studio background. This sounds like I am hearing I am hearing the result of like a really nice ribbon mic out of the sound hole. It's really nice and round. And my baby I can also on take stills. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You guys, you you guys I'm filming a vlog for Taylor. Do oh, cool. you want to oh. say anything in it fast? Sure. And then take a photo of it? Yeah. I mean, I'd like to talk about my father, my relationship with my father. It's been tough. <laughs> I, he's fun because I was doing some uh, jazz stuff on it. And it was speaking differently than the 8, 12, 12 fret that I have because that's spongier. Totally. It's great for single notes stuff. But when I dig in, it doesn't have that rebound you were talking about. That's the it thing. It just sponges, and, which is great, but yeah. it's more for strumming for me. But the 517 feels more like a guitar. I would it's got that pick dry, woody. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Like right down the center of the mix. Mm -hmm. I prefer the mahogany one too over the rosewood. That's I just do. Cool.
told you you're gonna melt people's faces off. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Ah, oh, shoot, man. Alarm, man. That, was, <laughs> that was awesome. That was fun, that was man. Fantastic. That was so much fun. That was like single best NAMM performance ever. <laughs> All right, that was great. Thank you very that much. Was so bad. That was oh awesome. man, well, thank you. You. <laughs> that thing. That thing. You're tearing it up on that thing. Huh? Shit, that thing's right. dangerous, man. That's rad, dude. <laughs> I love it. Holy crap. Guitar for Taylor, I think. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, that was crazy, guys. Okay. That, was, that was awesome. Oh, that was incredible. Was Actually, okay, here's... That was freaking ridiculous. <laughs> <So>, right? <laughs> Friend of the devil. Oh, man. That's it. That's NAMM 2019. It was incredible. What a great, amazing week. I, I really think that this is the best NAMM show I've ever been to. Um, it was really exciting to be here and be a part of it. These guys work really, really hard to put on a good NAMM show and put on great events. Um, you have no idea the kind of hours they work. It's like round the clock, basically. I'm heading home. Okay, that's it. We're back where I started in my studio. I'm home. Thanks so much to everybody from Taylor for, for making this happen, um, for for bringing me out and making me a part of NAMM. Um, it, it was an incredible experience. I had such a good time. Um, I couldn't think of a better group of people to get to hang out with. Thanks so much to um, Jay Parkin, who brought me out there, to Colin, who hung out with me all week and helped out with the vlog and, and ran the Twitter feed and and the entire team at Taylor um, it was really fun seeing how excited everybody was about the, the new Grand Pacifics um, I'm super excited about them I'm excited to be at home where mine is and be able to to play it again so um, I hope you guys all get to uh, see and enjoy them soon um, more stuff coming I've got some some fun stuff that I've already talked about doing with some folks like just happy accidents from the NAM show that that's going to result in some really cool upcoming um, content with those guitars specifically and others too. So really excited to bring that to you. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I had a blast. It was incredible. And I'll see you soon. I'm going to bed. <laughs>